Hi, today we're going to go through some ICM tips for before an exam. This presentation will cover dealing with exam pressure, a revision timetable and it will also give you a template that you can access yourself, uh, your learning style, where to revise, when to revise and how to revise. Dealing with exam pressure can be tough. If you struggle with exam stress, make revision positive and straightforward. Give yourself plenty of time and try to keep a balance of relaxing, socialising and exercising. If you plan your time well with a revision timetable, it can be really beneficial to your exam schedule. So, judge your timings, decide how long you'll need to feel confident for each exam. Allow a day or two extra so you can review your revision. If you click on this link on the presentation, then you'll, it will take you to an Excel spreadsheet, which there's an example on the next slide. So this graph will give you a day of the week, some time slots, and some sections which you can divide your revision up to. Uh, this is just general, uh, this is something I would personally use, but everyone's different. Um, so reading relevant course material, taking notes, writing up notes neatly, and learning some keywords. But you've got to make sure you give yourself some time to socialise and go to the gym, or do whatever you'd like in that time. Your learning style. Learning styles differ, and it's important to have an idea of your learning style. You can adjust the way you study to improve the overall productivity of your learning and hopefully lead towards a better grade. You can refer to the ICM Learner Handbook in Section 1 for more information on this. After reading the handbook, if you're still not sure, think about doing some reflection on your previous learning experiences. When you've had a good learning experience, when you've really understood or remembered a topic, and then when you've had a bad learning experience where you found it really hard to remember a topic. See if there's any correlation with your good learning experiences and the ways you were learning and the, your bad learning experiences and the ways you were learning. See if a pattern arises. It may now be clearer that you learn better in certain ways. For example, it could be visually, through demonstrations or diagrams or pictures, auditory, through listening or over-repeating over something, or physically, by engaging in experiments or physical activities. See, where to revise is actually really important. The actual environment you have is a great impact on your learning. It's good to try and remove all possible distractions through your phone or the TV and give yourself regular breaks so you can use your phone and then check the, your social media. Give yourself a snack or a drink. Libraries can sometimes be distracting for people, so just figure out where's best for you. And sometimes background music can really help some learners. So when to revise. Fail to prepare or prepare to fail. It's really important to try to start prepping the revision from day one by keeping up to date with neat, selective and focused lecture notes from each of your sessions. If you have a bank of these notes, you can then add to these lecture notes when it comes to revision through reading from your course book materials. And it's best to try to do the hardest topis, topics first so then you have time to revisit them. Once you divide and combine the material into sections and themes, you can cut your revision down into manageable chunks. You can then use cue cards or mind maps, whatever best suits you, to try to put the information down. Cue cards and mind maps allow you to have the most relevant information needed for the exam. Use different colours for different sections of your revision to allow your brain to remember things better. I know it's laborious, but try to reread your cue cards, mind maps out loud in your head. Make your, try to make the information stick. And once you've understood and remembered the information, you can then start linking concepts and themes together and synthesising this information to create arguments. You can then create more cue cards or mind maps when you have arguments in your head. How to revise. Test yourself and get others to test you. Try to use past papers from previous series and see tips for after a mock exam presentation that will come on the website. And it's good to reward yourself for correct answers. So, all in all, give yourself time to revise, exercise and socialise, allowing your revision to be enjoyable and manageable. Start revision from day one by keeping neat and focused lecture notes throughout the year. Plan your revision schedule by using a revision timetable. Knowing your learning style and working out how best, how best for you to learn is really important and can really help you throughout the year. Think about how and where you learn best so you can learn effectively. So keep calm and good luck.